Fräulein Jubeldick. Herr Knochenbruch. We must take swift and immediate action, lest we be perceived as one of those institutions afflicted by the veritable epidemic of adolescent suicide. Indeed, sir, but it will not be an easy war to win. There's not only the moral corruption of our youth, but the creeping sensuality of these liberal-minded times. I couldn't agree more. This is war. Naturally, there must be cash. Naturally? Bring the boy in. Certainly, Herr Knochenbruch. A young man would appear all roads in you. Do you know what I mean? I'm afraid... As well one would be. Not two days after his father learned of the death of the young... Mort Stiefel! Mort Stiefel. He went through the boy's personal effects and uncovered a certain depraved and atheistic document which made terror terribly clear of the young man's utter moral corruption, a corruption which no doubt hastened <coughs> the boy's aid. Mm, without question, Herr Knochenbruch. I am referring, as you may know, to a ten-page essay entitled Coily Enough, The Art of Sleeping, mm. accompanied by, shall we say, lifelike illustrations. Herr Knochenbruch, if I could behave properly, oh yes, that would be another matter entirely. Entirely? For our part, we have made a thorough examination of the handwriting of this obscene document and compared it with every single pupil. Sir, if you could only show me the You one will now answer only the precisely stated questions with a swift and decisive yes or no. Milkio Gabor, did you write this? Sorry, ask goodbye. Totally fucked, so they mess you up. But you know they're 